Come on up here, Murray. Uh, and then finally, uh, for years, I kept telling him, Murray, you need to get a revenue model that works. And he finally did. I was so excited when he, when he told me what he was doing. What was it, like two years ago? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. So he moved from being an amazing social media platform to talk about health to being an amazing platform to actually change that. So, so another Health 2.0 uh, graduate, Murray Jones. Big worm. We have, we have five minutes. Okay. Yeah, we pivoted a couple times um, to a successful model, we believe, right now. So definitely generating revenue and helping patients. We have customers, et cetera. Um, so we do advanced care management for primary care, ACOs, and health plans. So focusing mostly on primary care right now. And that involves having nurses. So we provide the technology, the processes, and potentially the people, the, um, the customer has the option of, have, of employing the people, or we can. And we help them basically launch, optimize, and then sustain care management programs. And so the big need we're solving is value-based care, right? Value-based care is really hard to do, um, and it requires a lot of investment. So one of the biggest problems we're having, you know, so the, so the biggest problem our customer is they need help in doing this, right? So, um, you know, and then care management is a big part of this in terms of, uh, you know, it's a tool, one of the only tools that can be used to actually reduce costs, which is what customers need, which is what providers need to do in order to be sustainable with this. So we estimate that, and we've seen research, that in order for a customer to be successful with care management, they really need 20, 20 providers in a practice or in a clinic are coming together to do this. And, and then even then, it's very difficult. So in a lot of primary care, it's, there's a lot of individual practices out there doing this. So we provide care management solutions for them. So we've been very successful so far. We've had 13% cost reductions in 2016 of enrolled versus unenrolled patients. Um, and that's directly integrating our nurses, our technology within the primary care clinics. Um, and then also we've shown quality measure, improved quality measures by over 50% as well. And so in that, uh, it's, 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 completely it's a, based on the technology platform we're providing as well as the processes that we're implementing along with the technology. So, um, and just to give you guys an idea of the financial benefits for customers, for providers actually doing, you know, become, going into value-based care, um, you know, and this compares what, compares the different financial drivers out there. So number one is quality. So if the provider actually improves quality for 500 Medicare patients, we're talking on the order of potentially generating over $300,000 of additional revenue. If a provider is in a care plan or is in an in a, is in a, um, ACO with a shared savings, that's over $200,000 of potential savings. And then there's some smaller ones as well. So number one, penalty avoidance. So that's the stick in terms of actually you know, doing value-based care. And then finally, if you do care management, there is some income that's generated as well. So there's a big financial benefit for providers to do these kind of programs. And so what we do, we provide the technology, the processes. The technology enhances communications among all providers and across silos. We were talking to a next-gen ACO just last week, and their big thing was, oh, we have three different silos doing care management and calling patients multiple times. And so this, this, you know, enabling the providers to communicate with each other is extremely important in terms of what they're communicating about, as well as just to have an efficient program. And then, of course, improving the quality and reducing costs, nurse workflow application. You know, it's a, it's a, it optimizes efficiency among the nurses. It gives them intelligent scripting, what to say, what data to collect, real-time data for patients, so it collects data. You know, so we collect the data, and then what do they do next? So intelligent scripting and intelligent of where that nurse is going to go with their next talk. And then cost reduction analytics. So the managers and the nurses need analytics in order to constantly improve. So that's the solution. And then ultimately what we're doing is we're guiding patients through the treatment process step by step. So that's the ultimate goal. Thank you so much. Any questions? Any quick questions? I'm probably done. So thanks, everybody.